Hi, I'm Joe Schulten at the West Michigan Tennis Academy. Today we're doing a lot of drills that require the kids to throw up some lobs. And I see a need for improvement in the technique on the part of the kids in that area. So today I'm going to demonstrate, first of all, what they're doing that's incorrect and then what they should be doing. So the mistake I'm seeing out here is the kids are not differentiating too much between their normal ground stroke and a lobbing stroke. What they're attempting is our topspin lobs, which is a really advanced shot. It's got to be hit just right because if it's, if it's hit incorrectly, it'll go over the net really low, gives that team an opportunity to put the ball away. An advanced topspin lob is designed to get over one or the other opponent's head and after it bounces it kicks toward the back wall. But it's got to be struck just right or if you hit it incorrectly it gets into their strike zone and they can put it away. That's a pretty good topspin lob because that would be over their heads and even if they were the fastest person out here at the academy they wouldn't be able to track that down because the ball hits and jumps toward the back fence. A defensive lob is where the racket opens up and you more or less go into the bottom of the ball. This is designed to buy you time if you're out of position. And forehand side would look like this, racket opens up. And that's a lob that isn't designed to win the point outright. The opponents are going to be able to track that down, but at least it gets them off the net and it gives you a chance to recover and get back into a point. So hopefully this will help you develop a more effective lob. That's my tip for the day.